guys, Austin here, and today I'm gonna to show you something that I just demoed for you. They are my brand new Minel 15 inch Byzance Jazz Thin Hats. So in a recent video that I've done of a jazz loop from the Orlando drummer, you'll notice that I had a different pair of hi-hats on my kit. Now, these were actually a hybrid set of hi-hats that I used way back when 2020 started and when we were all in lockdown. So what I did is I took my Minel 16 inch dark crash and paired it with a B8 set of 16 inch crash cymbals as well. And that created a 16 inch pair of hi-hats. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that those hi-hats didn't sound the greatest. But for me, it was something that I lacked, needed, and was able to make a quick fix right away. So now this symbol safely will sit on my kit to my right, just above my transition ride. Now let's get to the main star today, the 15 inch jazz hats, or should I say the jazz thin hats. This top symbol is completely lathed. It's a very thin washy symbol. And the bottom hat is an unlathed extra dry hat, not as thin, so just a little bit heavier. They have a real buttery crunch to them when you hit them together, and the articulation off of the stick is so smooth and so warm. It goes well with my other cymbals, meaning I have a lot of dark, dry, trashy cymbals on my kit. When choosing these symbols, I had to sit there and think, what kind of symbols am I truly looking for? You know, I play in a worship setting, not your traditional worship setting, but I play in a small church. We play a lot of old school gospel. So I needed symbols that fit the sound of this sanctuary, the sound of my kit, and the overall arching theme of the music that we are playing.